Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, and career for the period beginning the 8th of March. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, or if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. Thank you again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find the new channel. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Spirit. If this is your first time, I have an army of spirits in my space. And this is an energetic, spirit-driven reading which means that I'm channeling messages while we're pulling the cards. Their energy is in the cards, and there's usually some kind of homework. Also, I've been getting some of your guides in here, some of your past loved ones. Talk about pushy. They laugh, they scream, they cry, they show me things I cannot unsee. They turn my television on, which happened in the December reading in Leo. They sing. They do whatever they have to do in order for me to share the message. So on occasion, I'll get one of those. They just want you to know they're here and thinking about you. Okay. All right. Spirits for the period beginning. 8th of March. What do we have for our lovely Tauruses? What do we got? All right, so starting the period, we've got the Eight of Cups. Queen of Rods. Four of Coin. Mm. We have Justice. We have the Two of Rods. Ooh, and we have the Eight, okay. Mm. Sorry, I'm having a quadruple espresso. <laughs> I'll wake you up. All right, so let's start with those. I'm sure I'll pull a few more. So this, this Eight of Cups, this is about sort of that restless energy. No surprise with all the... Um, the health crisis and that people not really being able to go and do the full flavor of their life, right? But this is about something feeling like it's missing. As I said, it could be on the recreational front, you know, something to do with the fact that you haven't been able to really travel. You haven't been able to be really visit a ton of people that you would normally visit. Um, but it's about restlessness. It's about... Take a look at this, okay? Here we have the cups, they're, they're stacked, they look full, but yet something is missing. This gal, she's by the water, okay? So it's, it's the flow of abundance here. And we've got the red cape, which is usually root chakra, red, food, food water, shelter, financial security. And you're restless, something doesn't feel right. You know, you might need to walk away from a situation or you've already left the situation. That's typically what this means. And, and there's already homework and the homework in the Queen of Rods, you know, uh, spirit is saying, hey, follow your heart to what feels right. So you might be leaving a relationship, okay, because it just doesn't feel right. You might be leaving... Um, Okay. All right. It's a little clarification. You might be leaving a position or an old business to start a new one because the queen of rods, uh, on the broader sense, on the, on the main sense is about business, entrepreneurship, you know, building that business, leadership, ideas start to flourish. Okay. And then you've got but, but there's got to be some passion there. So when I say follow your heart, it's following your heart into something that's bigger, that's better, 
that's more fulfilling for you. And, you know, again, the queen shows us that we are the leaders, you know, that, um, that we can move forward in, in this, in this way. So maybe some of you are in a, in a, an artistic type of business, something that you're creating, but it's all about that entrepreneurship, the organizer, the leader, the writer, the producer, the marketer, maybe the hmm, it's communication success, social, maybe social media kind of things, maybe a YouTube channel. You never know. Okay. Um, I also, you know, right there next to that is the four of coins. And the four of coins, you see how he's kind of holding on to his coins? He's holding on to the money. This is can signify that maybe you've had some ups and downs with money. Maybe you've had some kind of hardship, but the tough times are over. The tough times have ended for you, you know? So you're starting to rebuild and stretch out. So I keep getting from spirit, you know, follow your heart into what gives you joy and the money will come, or the money is becoming solidified. Now, we have the justice card, and that's about balance, and it's about fairness. You know, during this period, you know, for those of you who are looking to purchase something new, uh, like in the home front or the business front, uh, contracts are being signed for, for house slash business front apartment uh, relationships, uh, are finding more of a balance in your life. So it's not just your love relationship. We're talking about the relationships to immediate family, the relationships to your <clears throat> to your children, if you have them, uh, and extended family outside that immediate. Uh, it's about positive change in career and positive change in money. Then we've got the two, and the two is about, the two of rods is about making plans, moving forward. You know, you're making plans, you're designing, you know, uh, you're, you're gaining influence, you know, you're proving your worth, you're, well, if it's with travel, you might be actually doing some travel, so you might be making some travel plans, um, but it's about making plans, moving forward in a, in a life sense, okay, typically. But, you know, it does, it does indicate that you might be traveling somewhere. Uh, so maybe you're making some kind of travel arrangement. Then you've got the Eight of, of Rods. And the Eight of Rods is about new offers, positive news, projects, good news, all, all. It's also about good news. If you're interested in a love relationship, there's some good news on the love front. So maybe some of you are making a more committed uh, taking a commitment route. And we have good news on that front coming in this week. What else do we got? Wow. Wow. We have the eight of coins. Eight of coins. The eight of coins is about money on its way. You know, he's, he's, he's fine tuning his plan. He's making the money profitability in the long term. Financial stability, um, opportunities to do something new, manifestation, manifesting money. So you've got these two cards together. This is like a win-win here for you. One more. All right. And you've got the four of rods, and that's about celebration. Time to celebrate, you know. It's about new projects. It's about lo looking into a new property. Um, putting down roots, you're putting down roots, you're expanding your space. Um, maybe you're putting down roots with a love partner. Hmm. Isn't that nice? Okay. So oh, I just love this reading for you. Let's take a look at what we have here. St. Francis is saying, oh, there's the follow your heart. Follow your heart. Wow. Talk about putting words in my mouth, spirit. So follow your heart. Okay, follow your heart to the next chapter in your, 
journey. It's a beautiful chapter where all doors open, plans are made, hardship is over. Okay. And windfalls come. So money is made. Money that you can spend that you need to spend uh, the money to cover the bills. Now, am I saying this is the power, you know, the lottery uh, jackpot? Eh, you know, I guess everybody's lottery jackpot is different. When I say to the universe, thank you so much because I have enough money to do what I want, when I want, buy what I want, go where I want, when I want. Now, do I need a $500,000 vehicle? No, I don't. So, yeah, you know, everybody goes through their phase. I don't need a $500,000 vehicle to be satisfied. I'm very happy in my very, you know, current model vehicle that's a nice grade up and it has all the little bells and whistles for me. So, do you see where I'm going? Do you really need a $20 million house? Oh, would you be happy with a house with a beautiful view that had comfort? So, when we ask for stuff, don't limit it. Be open. Be open to all the riches the universe wants to give you. Don't slice it down so slight, so little that you can only get one thing, and that's that one in a million. Versus, hey, checks come to me all the time. I've got plenty of money. I, I, I can buy whatever I want. Now you get it. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.